One of the things that's impressed me is that every time you've told your story, you've told it in exactly the same words. You've never varied a hair's breadth. And what does that suggest to your legal mind? Well, it suggests either that you have an extraordinary memory... Or? Or that you're telling the plain, unvarnished truth. I'm afraid I have a very poor memory. I suppose I'm right in thinking that you had no communication with Hammond for several weeks before the catastrophe. Oh, quite. I'm positive of that. The last time I saw him was at a tennis party at the McFerrins. Don't suppose I said more than two words to him. They have two courts, you know, and we happen to be playing in different sets. And you hadn't written to him? Oh, no. Well, at one time you were in fairly intimate terms with him. How did it happen that you stopped asking him to anything? Well, we didn't have anything much in common, and he's very popular, you know. A lot of calls upon his time, and well, I didn't see the necessity of showering him with invitations. You were quite certain that was all? Well, I may as well tell you. We heard about his wife. And once, quite by chance, I actually saw her. Oh? You never mentioned that? What was she like? Horrible. She was all covered with gold chains and bracelets and spangles. A face like a mask. And it was after you knew about her that you stopped having anything to do with Hammond? Yes. I think I should tell you that there is in existence a letter in your handwriting from you to Jeff Hammond. Well, I often wrote him a little note about something or other, or to get me something if I heard he was going into Singapore. This letter asks him to come and see you. Because Robert was going to be away. Oh, but that's impossible. You see, I never did anything of the kind. You'd better read it for yourself. But that's not my handwriting. I know. It's said to be an exact copy of one written on the day of Hammond's death. for you to say, Leslie. I didn't write it. I swear I didn't write it. If the original is in your handwriting, it would be useless to deny it. Then it'll be a forgery. It'd be difficult to prove that. It'd be easy to prove it was genuine. It's not dated. It might have been written years ago. Oh, if you'll just give me a little time, I'll try to remember. Leslie, the prosecution could cross-examine your house, boys. They would soon find out whether someone took a letter to Hammond on the day of his death. Howard, I swear to you, I did not write this letter. Nothing more to say to me. I'll get back to the office. <laughs> 